everybody, uh, Sinister Train 01 here, um, and I decided that we are going to play some more Hitman. Um, I know I might sound a lot like Kermit, Kermit the Frog, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's me. And, uh, I just thought I'd say hello, and, and we're going to play some more stealth gameplay for, for Hitman. Um, yeah, so let's get right into this. We're going to go over to contract mode. It's, um, uh, escalation mode is actually really fun. We're going to be continuing on. This is, um, level three of the Pantopop Aquarium. <laughs> Miss Piggy always told me that, uh, I probably should not play this game at night time because I'll get scared in areas that I get scared in. But, um, <laughs> just, I tried to keep that up for as much as I could, and I, I just couldn't do it anymore, guys. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, Sinister Strand 01 here, and we've got more the Mandibulb Requiem. I want to say require them, but I know that's not how you say it. Okay, so, let's think about this. We have, this is level three, so we've done the first two levels, which are pretty easy, so we have to do everything that we've done already which is the target wearing a palace staff unit uniform we need to hack the laptop in the office then we need to oh so i see what the complication is so i'm guessing if if something were to happen and things went wrong um i would need to find and hack the laptop on the first floor but since this is Center Strain 01, I don't think we ever have to really worry about that, do we, Miss Piggy? No, Kermit! I'm okay, I'm just kidding. I'll stop all that. But, <laughs> uh, before it gets too weird. Uh, so yeah, so now we gotta take this guy out wearing a security guard disguise. So, um, I think we're up for the challenge, and we're gonna set and play this, uh, the same way that we've been doing the other missions. I, I feel like that's just the perfect way, uh, to get in. And, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying, and it's go time. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. Back for round three. Shift is not done. Fight. Okay. Still need the emergency we'll be here soon. This one's going to add a little bit more challenge to it. And we're going to add challenge, actually. We're going to modify this a little bit to, uh, to kind of separate, uh, give ourselves a little bit more challenge. I, you gotta, I want you to count how many times I say the word challenge in this, in this video. I challenge you to do that. But the question is, are you up to the challenge? Alright, so here we're just going to wait for these guys. You don't need to enter the other room. And you don't need to be super fast because the guard that's sitting down will not stand up until a specific point of when you start the game. So uh, because of that, there's no real reason to rush here, but it's what I'm used to doing. And I like the flow of it, so... We want to shave a few seconds off so when we get to the chic we have a few extra seconds to uh in case something happens you know there's so many different things that could happen but here you don't actually have to go the that follow him you can actually go this route you can see the guard just moving there you can actually go ahead and go and get into the room he won't see you but doing that really doesn't matter um because the chic will not be in the specific you're gonna have to wait until the sheet goes into the mm. onto the balcony. And that's the only way. So you might as well wait. There's no point in rushing it. Although here you can rush because we're about right at the perfect time that uh, the sh will give us that extra few three or four seconds to make sure that we are secure when we take out this first guy. I find it, you know to be um, a nice little challenge. Uh, the next set of missions that I'm going to do, we're going to complete this obviously, I think level 5 is the last one. Once we do that, we're going to move on to the Vampire missions. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that, I, I know a lot of people like those missions. I am the Vampire that walks through the night. <laughs> you know, if uh, YouTube ever fails me, I could always be an impressionist. I could always, you know, I can do voices and different things like that. Strong? 
with the impressions is strange. All right, so again, same thing here, guys. Go ahead and switch to your coin. We're gonna run this time to give ourselves a few extra seconds. You can see he's just now entering, so we'll have plenty of time. Go ahead and switch over to your fiber. Make sure you take your fiber off when you have to knock out the next guy. <laughs> Always make sure that uh, you don't have the door open for too long, because if you do, <laughs> it'll shut on you. And that's embarrassing. I don't know how many times where I opened the door a little too early, and the door shut on me as I was moving through the door, and that screwed up my time. Not on this mission, I'm just saying on, like, games in general, you know, like when you have a... when you're trying to follow a specific path. Alright, first target is taken out. Go ahead and unequip your, uh fiber wire so that way you don't get it confused. So excited for the next Hitman, for the next episode. So much content in this episode alone. I can only imagine how many more contracts, how many more escalation missions, and how many challenges we're going to have to complete in uh, episode 2. Almost there. So, when I said I was going to add a, uh, a modifier, and that's on my own personal kind of challenge here. We need to take a security guard uniform, and then hide the body, of course, and then kill one of the crew. So, it's easy to do. There's a security guard right next to um, a place to hide the body. I don't, I don't even think you actually have to hide a body. The reason I say that is... Uh, there's no meta points in this game like there was in Absolution where you hide a body, you kill a body, then you have to hide it in order to get zero, to, to cross it back to zero. You don't have to do that in this game, so I don't think you have to hide a body, but we're going to do it anyways. We're going to make it more challenging. We're going to take this guy behind us out, and we have to drag his body about four rooms to a closet. Even though we technically don't have to take this guy out, we can take another guy out, and get there way quicker and be a lot easier but we are not going to do that I want to add modifiers I want to challenge myself I want you guys to do the same okay I want you to let me know of some challenges of some things you guys would like to see me do like harder you know give me some contracts and stuff you know make make me work for this channel okay I want to make sure this channel is going to be something that you're going to want to keep coming back to day in and day out for years to come As you can see, you'll barely make that. So that's what obviously adds the challenge. This guard is going to be getting up right now. Look at that. Perfect timing. All done, you know, in a specific way to make this as challenging as possible, but also fun. Okay, here's the only thing. I would say we're going to wait... We probably could have snuck past him there, but uh, I don't want to make it too challenging. <laughs> you see what I did there? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Jeez, that was, that was weird. All right, our guys are right where they need to be. So now we were able to hide the body, and we just have to wait. Go ahead and get out our fiber wire again. I, I don't know what it is, but I love that Hitman music that you uh, that you hear down there on the runway. I mean, I, it gets stuck in my head a lot. Remember, there's a camera over there, so yeah, don't get too trigger happy. Touch it if I were you. Look, no, 
Novikov's expecting a heads up before we trigger the display, you know, so we can watch it from the garden. <laughs> And conveniently, we have a place to hide the body right here. Alright guys, and that is going to do it. We're going to take the bottom exit this time, change it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed the third level for this escalation mission. Mission accomplished. And you can see our points there. One sixty-five nine eight five. So we did that in nine minutes. Not too bad. We just added what an extra two minutes to complete the last and final kill, I guess. Sweet. Let's see where we are in the challenge or in the leaderboard. Um, obviously, you still see all those. One ninety-nine seems to be the best. So I think we're pretty much still in the top one hundred. Might even be in the top 50. So close. I think we got just under that, unless I passed it. I can't remember what I got. Did I get 165? There I am. 61. Not too bad. I'll take it for not even spending 10 minutes on this mission, so or 20 minutes. Um, yeah, not not uh, not not bad at all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys like um, you know the commentary and and just uh, me playing some more Hitman. Really uh, really enjoy playing this for you guys and it, uh, appreciate all all the likes and all the favorites and all the comments and stuff you guys do below. Me and Miss Piggy really really appreciate it. And uh, well, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace out. <laughs> Kermit, you forgot to say bitches. <laughs> that was that was so stupid.